many ancient ideologies no longer exist, yet society has moved on. Oh, yeah, exactly. Moved on. If we add religion to the list, it would be the same way. That's such a good point. Like, like Greek uh, ideology, mythology died. We're not, we're not missing them. People are not like, how are we surviving without Greek? The, the thing is that a lot of these people have this, have this, has this idea that the Bible brought these values, right? First of all, there is no, there's no fucking what values. Every time, every time people are like, yeah, but you know, it's all bullshit and God is not real. But there are some good lessons in there. And every time I ask them, give me an example, and I never, I never hear a good answer to that. Give me one, one example. One thing that is worth keeping. It's, there's not even one. It's not like there's some good in there, some bad in there. There's nothing that is worth preserving. The only thing that is interesting about the Bible, these writers, they had some deep understanding of um, psychology and conscious and what mortifies us and about the state of civilization and natures and what makes us progress and what hurts us and they just hid all this valuable information into these stories and somehow like in a very clever way are trying to communicate this with us where are you getting that from Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.